I am Amit Pal from Punjab University, Patiala. My topic of presentation is on personal correlates of problem behavior among adolescents. First of all, so, uh, problem behavior. Problem behavior in children and adolescents are those that are experienced as troublesome by adults such as parents and teachers are known to disrupt normative social development when an individual's behavior is atypical for a particular age and leads to poor adjustment. It may be justly considered as problem behavior. Problem behavior has been defined as the act of a person who either exerts significant negative impact on his, his or her quality of life or the quality of life of others or forms significant risk to, uh, risk to the health and or safety to oneself or others. When a child's behavioral difficulties are prolonged, extreme and potentially harmful or dangerous, this may be a sign that the child is at risk of, uh, risk of or is displaying behavioral disorders. Well, uh, well-known distinction in the field of uh, psychiatry is the distinction be between externalizing and internalizing problems. Externalizing problems. Uh, externalizing behavior is a constellation of behavior characterized by non-compliance, aggression, destructiveness, attention problems, impulsivity, or hyperactivity. The construct of externalizing problem be uh, behavior problem refers to a grouping of behavior behavior problems that are manifested in children's outward behavior and reflect the child negatively acting on external environment. Externalizing behavior are defined as emotional distress directed outward by the indi individual toward their uh, social environment, such as aggression, delinquency, and hyperactivity. Next is internalizing problems. Internalizing problem behavior are one in ones in which the child is inwardly troublesome and are typified by social withdrawal, somatic complaints, loneliness, and depression. Problem behaviors that are most central affect the child's internal psychological environment rather than the external world. Covexin Devlin uh, defined in, uh, internalizing disorders as conditions whose central feature is disordered mood or emotion. Internalizing behavior problems like externalizing behavior problems are problematic and negatively impact in, uh, children in many domains including cognitive functioning, interpersonal and social relationship. Uh, in person core risk, first one is uh, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence refers to the ability, of, uh, ability to recognize and regulate emotions in ourselves and in others. Emotional intelligence refers to the ability to perceive emotion, integrate emotion, to facilitate thought, understand emotions, and to regulate emotions to promote personal growth. An emotionally intelligent person is likely to be skilled in two key areas, personal competence, how one manages the self, and uh, second is social competence, how one manages relationships. Next. Uh, sorry. The relationship between emotional intelligence and problem behavior. Emotional intelligence is a potential risk factor in behavioral problems in adolescent years, and the lack of balanced development of emotional intelligence in adolescents could be associated with a variety of internalizing and externalizing problem behavior. Lower levels of emotional intelligence have been found to be associated with the lower levels of empathy and the inability to mood, um, uh, manage mood, high levels of lexithymia, as well as high levels of depression, neuroticism, somatic symptomatology, and stress. In regards to externalizing behaviors, low levels of emotional intelligence are associated with low levels of academic achievement, high levels of tobacco and alcohol use. Uh, second factor in uh, personal correlate is self-concept. In self-concept, what matters most is uh, how, you, uh, how you see yourself. The term self-concept refers to a person's self-perception in relation to important aspects of life. It is composed of relatively permanent self-assessment such as personality attributes, knowledge of one's skills, and awareness of one's physical attributes. Cartel and Sparrow, who have recently defined uh, self-concept as a group of descriptive and evaluators, uh, evaluative statements about oneself, believe that self-concept represents a manner in which the subjects portray know and appraise themselves, pointing out that although the terms self-concept and self-esteem used interchangeably, self-esteem is strictly the evaluative component within the self and self-knowledge. Aspects of self, there are four aspects, uh, perceived self, this is an individual's concept, how the kind of person he is, it is influenced by physical self, his physical appearance, dress, and grooming by his uh, abilities and disposition, his values, beliefs, and aspirations. Next is real self, the real self includes what he is aware of and he is not aware of, it is the perceived self plus unconscious self. 
So the next is social self. This is a self as a person thinks, others see it. This concept may not correspond with other peop uh, people's perception of him. Nevertheless, it has an important effect on his behavior. Uh, last is ideal self. Ideal self is the organized conceptual patterns of characteristics and emotional uh, status uh, which an individual consciously holds desirable. And uh, sorry. Uh, theoretical assumptions of self-concept. Self-concept is essentially phenomenological in nature. It is some, not something that can be observed directly, and, but it uh, but must be inferred from either behavior or self-report. Next, self-concept has both global and specific components. Global self-concept reflects how an individual feels about all the characteristics that make up his or her person and specific aspects of self-concept result from an individual self-appraisal in particular areas of functioning. Self-concept is experienced and expressed differently by children at various stages of development. With increasing age and experience, the child's self-perception also becomes increasingly differentiated. Self-concept is relatively stable, although shaped by experience. It does not change easily and rapid or rapidly. Self and the relationship between self-concept and problem behavior, several lines of research link dimensions of the self. Adults with a negative self-concept tend to have both attitude and problem behavior. Self-evaluation such as low self-esteem connects to internalizing problems of depression and anxiety. Low, uh, low self-esteem also connects to externalizing problems including substance abuse and antisocial behavior. A positive self-concept or high level or self-esteem represents a strong self-approval. Such people like themselves are self-confident and self-assured. A negative self-concept or low level of self-esteem indicates strong self-rejection. Such persons do not like themselves. Various studies report negative correlation between self-concept, self-esteem, and depression. And the objectives of the study are to examine the relationship between emotional intelligence and problem behavior, to determine the relationship between self-concept and problem behavior, to assess the relative contribution uh, of factor, uh, relative contribution of personal factors in predicting variance in problem behavior and among uh, among adolescents, and the hypothesis are emotional intelligence would be negatively correlated with problem behavior, self concept would be negatively related with problem behavior, personal factors would be the significant predictors of problem behavior among adolescents. And your method participants for the study were 100 adolescents, 50 boys, and 50 girls randomly selected from a co-educational public school in Patiala within the age range of 12 to 18 years. And the measure you measures you, uh, child behavior checklist act, uh, by Eckenbach and Thomas, uh, Pyra Harris to ch uh, children's self-concept scale, modified Shetty EI scale. And the data analysis, the data collected were analyzed using correlation coefficient and stepwise regression to find out the relative strength of the, each of the dimension of emotional intelligence and self-concept in the prediction of adolescent problem behavior. And the result? Correlation for all the variables in the study. Mm, the correlation also reveal that the various dimensions of emotional intelligence and self-concept are significantly correlated with internalizing and externalizing behavior. Among adolescents, the results for internalizing behavior show significant negative correlation with freedom from anxiety and optimism. Externalizing behavior showed significant negative correlation with appraisal of emotion and total AI. Behavioral problem, uh, behavioral adjustment, freedom from anxiety, total self-concept, optimism, appraisal of emotion, and total uh, emotional intelligence. So all were negatively and significantly correlated with mixed syndrome for the total problem behavior. Freedom from anxiety, optimism, appraisal of emotion, and ER were significantly and negatively correlated. Uh, this is a table for stepwise regression analysis for, of problem behavior with emotional intelligence and self-concept. And the main findings for this, stepwise multiple regression reveals that various dimensions of emotional intelligence and self-concept contribute significantly towards internalizing as well as uh, externalizing behavior problems. Uh, results for stepwise regression uh, reveal that freedom from anxiety significantly predicts the variance of each person in internalizing problems. For externalizing problems, total emotional intelligence score and physical appearance and attributes Together accounted for 8% of variance. Results for mixed syndrome showed that total EI, freedom from anxiety, and total self-concept significantly contribute with 13% in total problem behavior, total EI, and freedom from anxiety. 
project significant variance of 18 per, uh, sorry 11 percent. Uh, and last, the main goal of the uh, present study was to examine the association of adolescent problem behavior with emotional intelligence and self-concept. Summing up the current study, it says that emotional intelligence and self-concept is a potential risk factor in adolescent years and the lack of balanced development of emotional intelligence and low level of self-concept uh, could be associated with a variety of internalizing and externalizing problems. Thank you.